It is indeed a very troubling report, but it is a report of extraordinary importance not only to those who wish to own a home, but as to the taxpayers of this country who would pay the cost of the cleanup of an enterprise failure. The analysis makes clear that more resources must be brought to bear to ensure the highest standards of conduct are not only required, but more importantly, they are actually met. Through nearly a dozen hearings where, frankly, we were trying to fix something that wasn't broke. Mr. Chairman, we do not have a crisis at Freddie Mac, and in particular at Fannie Mae, under the outstanding leadership of Mr. Frank Raines. And, and as well as the fact that I'm just pissed off at Ophelio, because if it wasn't for you, I don't think that we'd be here in the first place. Uh, and now the problem that we have and that we're faced with is maybe some individuals who wanted to do away with GSEs in the first place, you've given them an excuse to try to have this form so that we can talk about it and maybe change the, uh, the direction and the mission of what the GSEs had, which they've done a tremendous job. There's been nothing that was indicated this wrong, you know, with uh, Fannie Mae. Freddie Mac has come up on his own. And the question that then presents is the competence that, you, that, that, that your agency has uh, with reference to uh, uh, the deciding and regulating these GSEs. Uh, and so uh, I wish I could sit here and say that I'm not upset with you, but I am very upset because, you know, what you do is you give, you know, maybe giving a reason to, as Mr. Gonzalez said, to give someone a heart surgery when they really don't need it. In addition to our important oversight role in this committee, I hope that we will move swiftly to create a new regulatory structure for Fannie Mae, for Freddie Mac, and the federal home loan banks. This hearing is about the political lynching of Franklin Reigns. There is a very simple solution. Congress must create a new regulator with powers at least equal to those of other financial regulators, such as the OCC or the Federal Reserve. What would make you, th why should I have confidence? Why should anyone have confidence in, uh, in, in you as a regulator at this point? Sorry, Congressman. <clears throat> O'Fail did not improperly apply accounting rules. Freddie Mac did. O'Fail did not try to manage earnings improperly. Freddie Mac did. So this isn't about the agency engaging in improper conduct. It's about Freddie Mac. And we passed Sarbanes-Oxley, which was a very tough response to that. And then I realized that... Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac wouldn't even come under it. They weren't under the 34 Act. They weren't under the 33 Act. They play by their own rules. And, I, and I'm tempted to ask how many people in this room are in the payroll of Fannie Mae. Because what they do is they basically hire every lobbyist they can possibly hire. They hire some people to lobby, and they hire some people not to lobby so that the opposition can't hire them. But a concern that I have is you're making very specific what you have correctly acknowledged, broad and categorical judgments about the management of this institution, about the willfulness of practices that may or may not be in controversy. You've imputed various motives to the people running the organization. You went to the board and put a 48-hour ultimatum on them uh, without having any specific regulatory authority to put that kind of ultimatum on them. Uh, that sounds like some kind of an invisible line has been crossed. Fannie Mae has manipulated, in my judgment, Ofeo for years. And for Ofeo to finally come out with a report, as strong as it is, tells me that's got to be the minimum, not the maximum. Etc. Uh, I this... You, you, you seem to be saying, well, these are in areas which could raise safety and soundness problems. I don't see anything in your report that raises safety and soundness problems.
under the outstanding leadership of Mr. Frank Raines, everything in the 1992 Act has worked just fine. In fact, the GSEs have exceeded their housing goals. What we need to do today is to focus on the regulator, and this must be done in a manner so as not to impede their affordable housing mission. A mission that has seen innovation flourish from desktop underwriting to 100% loans. I find this to be inconsistent and a, and a rush to judgment. I get the feeling that the markets are not worried about the safety and soundness of Fannie Mae, as Ofeo says that it is, but of course the markets are not political. But I have seen nothing in here that suggests that the safety and soundness of an issue, and I think it serves us badly to raise safety and soundness as a kind of a general shibboleth when it does not seem to me to be an issue. Mr. Raines, 1.1 million bonus on a $526,000 salary. Jamie Gorlick, $779,000 bonus on a salary of $567,000. I mean, this is what you state on page 11 is nothing less than, than staggering. The 1998 earnings per share number turned out to be $3.23 and 9 mils a result that Fannie Mae met the EPS maximum payout goal right down to the penny. Fannie Mae understood the rules and simply chose not to follow them that if Fannie Mae had followed the, the practices, there wouldn't have been a bonus that year. And you have about 3% of your portfolio set aside. If a bank gets below 4%, they are in deep trouble. So I just want you to explain to me w why I shouldn't be satisfied with 3%. Because banks don't, there aren't any banks who only have multifamily and single family loans. These, that these assets are so riskless that their capital for holding them should be under 2%. Fine. I think the responsibility that the, the Democrats have may rest more in uh, resisting uh, any efforts by uh, Republicans in the Congress or by me when I was president to put some uh, standards and tighten up a little on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac.